Welcome to the Swedish Maker. Today I'll be showing you five projects you can make with your CNC for Christmas gifts. In my case I have a CNC called 3018 Pro. It's a really small CNC. Uh, there's a link up here to a uh, review if you want to hear my thoughts on it. Now as Christmas is closing in I would like to use my CNC to make a couple of Christmas gifts. All the files for these projects can be downloaded from my Patreon page or from my website. Now let's get started. So this is a beard comb I made a while back. I really liked it and for this project I'm going to make a regular comb. So I glued two pieces of wood together with the grain going the opposite direction and that is to prevent it from breaking. Then I designed a comb in Fusion 360 and I exported the file using the Shaper plugin for Fusion which gives me an SVG file that I can import into Easel. In Easel I adjust the settings to my project and then I can start cutting. When the C is done I do some sanding and give it a finish and this is the result. I really like this comb but the fun thing is you can design it however you want it and have your CNC cut it out. Now some people have been asking me can you show how to make the comb without a CNC? And you can of course download the SVG file and just print it on paper and glue it to wood. And you can use your bandsaw or a jigsaw or a skill saw, no, or a figure saw, something to cut out all of this. It'll be a lot of work of course, but it can be done. Now this is a really simple beer opener that you can personalize however you want it. And in this case I just wrote the Swedish maker. And I used a millipot to fill in the letters and then I could sand that off. And then I just gave it a coat of Danish oil and, and I attached this beer opener to it. And you can attach it to the wall or wherever you want to. To fill in the letters I used a two-part dough called millipot. Uh, I think they, it comes in different colors but in my case I used black. So it's a two-part dough that you just mix together and after a couple of hours it's rock hard and you can sand off the residue. Now a while back I made a wooden ring with my CNC and this time I wanted to use brass as well. So I glued two pieces of walnut together with a piece of one millimeter thick brass in between. And then I can just go ahead and uh, cut out the ring and easel, just as I did the last time. There's a link to all of those videos as well. When it is cut out, I just do a bit of sanding and, uh, and it turned out really nice, I think. Now, this is also a project I did a while back. It's a ring box using my CNC. Uh, this is the same ring box I made in that video. So if you want to see how I did it, go check that video out. Now this is a really simple ring box. I added some text on top of the, the ring box with my laser. Uh, but you can use the CNC as well to engrave a letter or something. The ring box is made using uh, the manufacture function in Fusion. And I, from there I export a G-code file and I import the G-code into Easel and run it from there. Now these are really simple things you can personalize anything of course so I made these that can be hung in the Christmas tree for my daughters so it's my daughter's name and I filled up the letters with a two-part epoxy and I actually colored the epoxy using food coloring and then I just sanded it off it turned out kind of good and they can hang these in the Christmas tree and I also made a round version but of course you can make it snowflakes or whatever you want to and, uh, and have the CNC cut it out uh, to make it even, even cooler than this because this, these are just ordinary shapes of course. Of course you can do something similar without the hole here to, uh, to be hung and just use it as coasters or anything really. Now having a CNC, even though it's a small one, is great, but you actually need ideas to use it. So if you have any ideas that you would like to make or something you already made, leave a comment down below and let me know. That's it. These are five things you can make with your CNC really quickly to personalize and give away as Christmas gifts. Now I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.